Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Morning Devotions at the Garden of Hope. It's a nice day today again. Very nice out. It's not so hot yet, either. It got pretty warm yesterday, though. Okay, on our prayer request, David's mother, Henia, still has bad arthritis pain and is getting dizzy. And, uh... Let's remember Marlene and her sisters, um, their mother passed away. And uh, Paisy Rosen's husband is still out of work. Pray he finds a job. Joy Stewart, pray for rain in Oregon. They need it. Wildfires in August could be a problem. Robin Rare was in an accident and is in the hospital. Logan has an MRI Wednesday the 31st to see if he has a torn ligament. And Doug West, his mother passed away Thursday. Remember him and his family in prayer. Okay. Our Bible reading today comes from Luke 24, 13 through 32. Now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmanuel, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking with each other about everything that had happened. As they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked along with them. But they were kept from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? <coughs> They stood still, their faces downcast. One of them named Cleopas asked him, Are you the only one visiting, visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? What things, he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. He was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. The chief priests and our rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. But we hoped that he had that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what is more, that it is the third day since all this took place. In addition, some of our women amazed us. They went to the tomb early this morning, but didn't find his body. They came and told us that they had seen a vision of angels who said he was alive. Then some of our companions went to the tomb and found it just as the woman had said, but they did not see Jesus. He said to them, how foolish you are and how slow to believe all the that the prophets have spoken. Did not the Messiah have to suffer these things and then enter his glory? Then beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what was said in all the scriptures concerning himself. As they approached the, approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he were going further. But they urged him strongly, stay with us for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. When he was at the table with them, he took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and began to give it to them. Then their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, and he disappeared from their sight. They asked each other, were not, our heart, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scripture to us? Okay. Okay, our devotion is entitled, Hope and Grief. When I was 19, one of my close friends was killed in a car accident. In the following weeks and months, I walked each day in a tunnel of grief. The pain of losing someone so young and wonderful clouded my visions, and at times I felt, I even felt unaware of what was going on around me. I felt so blinded by pain and grief that I simply could not see God. In Luke 24, two disciples, confused and brokenhearted after Jesus' death, didn't realize they were talking with their resurrected teacher himself. Even as he explained from scripture why the promised savior had to die and rise again. Only when he took bread and broke it was it revealed this was Jesus. Although the followers of Jesus had faced death in all its horror when Jesus died, through his resurrection from the dead, God showed them how to hope again. Like those disciples, we might feel weighed down with confusion or grief but we can find hope and comfort in the reality that Jesus is alive 
and at work in the world and in us. Although we still face heartache and pain, we can welcome Christ to walk with us in our tunnel of grief. As the light of the world, he can bring rays of hope to brighten our fog. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to pray this morning for everybody on the prayer list, Lord. Um, help all of their needs, and if they have any tests coming up or anything like that, please help them all to be uh, good, good uh, results. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed the morning devotions at the Garden of Hope. Please press that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody have a great day, and I will see you later.